So recently, Singapore Airlines introduced this new cash and miles feature, which allows you to pay for airfare in cash and also use a portion of your miles to bring down the cost of the ticket. Uh, off the bat, I don't think this is a very good deal because they're going to give you less than one cent uh, per Chris Flyer mile uh, towards airfare. Now the good thing is on the paid portion you do earn miles. Uh, unlike Delta, they have a pay with miles feature if you're a Delta American Express card holder. If you use any of that, you don't earn any miles or elite miles. So at least Singapore is saying for the cash portion, we'll, we'll throw you back miles for that portion flown. But in general, unless you've got a really small amount of Chris Flyer miles that are going to expire, uh, that you're not going to be able to use. But even in that situation, I would recommend you know transfer in from American Express or Starwood. Try to get your Chris Flyer miles up to one of their really good award levels. Uh, they've got some sweet spots, which I'll list below in the post. Um, you know, and Chris Flyer is great if you want to fly first class on Singapore. They open up a lot of availability to their frequent flyer members. So Singapore Airlines is an amazing airline. I've flown them several times before. But using Star Alliance partner. Uh, miles to book business or first class, it can be very challenging, especially in advance. So uh, I do think Chris Flyer miles are valuable, and I don't think that this cash of miles is a very good deal. But if you're going to let the miles expire, you might as well get some value out of them. So there's my answer.